So why don't we just why don't we just get rid of that? Why don't we just have all guys work only women working? Well, wouldn't fix the problem then (laughs) that you're saying? Well, for one thing, we can't because (laughs) as much as women like to say that they want equality, I do not see them lining up to be roofers or lay concrete or work at sewage treatment plants or uh, oil rigs. I don't see them climbing cell phone towers. I don't see them doing like you think that's like a social. Like the no, fact that you're even not. using those as an example, could you like? Do you want to do those things? I mean, I wouldn't mind doing of those things. I don't, I don't care. Yeah, you would. You would care, and you, <laughs> wouldn't, physics, you wouldn't be able to do it. I mean, I you work wouldn't. at a video game company. That's generally a guy thing. Like, what? What, is, what do you mean? You work on computers, right? Okay. What do you just like so who, so big who, thing? So when you get up in the morning and you turn on your lights to get ready for work, that electrical grid is maintained by men who go I don't out care. and snowstorm. Well, you're, you should care. <laughs> well, because I mean, the men are the ones who to do build it, it, it a problem. and maintain it. This whole modern world that made feminism possible was uh-huh. built and is maintained by men. When we have oh, hurricanes, had no position in that. When we have hurricanes, snowstorms, mm. blizzards, the people who go out and get the power lines back up are not women. The people who uh, yeah. fix the roads that fall in and cave in because of, of terrible weather and flooding, not women. And do you think it's you're biologically men. not able to do that or something? Like, yes, I could do that. And I'll tell you why. Uh, I think, <laughs> aren't you into fitness? You're a fitness girl, right? I, not really. Okay. Well, I was a power lifter for years. I still lift nice. weights. I'm very strong for a girl. However, my 250 pound deadlift is nothing next to a man my size. And I, uh, no, I don't want to go out in a blizzard and try to put the power lines back up in 50 mile an hour winds and sub zero temperatures. Well, I mean, I think you would do any other women, but men will do it. Men will do it. I mean, I think that you would agree if you needed to, like, for your, I don't know, if for some reason you were the only person that you would do it right like to right, help so, out other people like i don't see how this has anything to do with like your your gender or sex like i i, I, I don't see the relation i understand that you think people are interchangeable widgets that just have Absolutely, varying parts, they are. right uh, they're they're actually not at all it's not even mm. close and only people who've never touched grass and lived life think that so if you think that I, you can actually the time. Out, are you really gonna come at me about that I'm really going to come at you about that because it's completely delusional. I'm trying to mm, okay. shatter your your false presuppositions that okay. you can do anything Go a man ahead. can do. You can't do anything a man can do. And furthermore, and more importantly, you don't want to. You well, maybe want, you can, but... <laughs> you don't want to get into sewers and repair sewer lines. You don't want to lay asphalt in 100-degree weather in Texas. You don't want to climb cell towers and possibly fall to your death. The most dangerous I love occupations... climbing cell towers the most dangerous occupations are still held by men, not women. So I don't believe women when they say they want equality. They don't want equality. They want privilege and they want access to things they privilege. like. Privilege. Yes. Access to things they like. Okay, there's a yes. lot there. So I don't understand. You you said like, okay, so you brought up the fact that you could like, you deadlifted, but you can't deadlift the same amount as like a dude or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's fine. But like, you think that these guys are just going out there by themselves? Like, like I like you're working together with people. Like I don't understand like the physical aspect of it being that important. Like you're okay. using machines. Like a lot of these people are, uh, are are doing like construction. Like they're not just like like literally like hammering in every single part of it. They're using tools to do it. I I don't see why there's any reason why it like any any gender or sex like couldn't do that. I feel like it's very silly to like limit the. Like, what do you think if I touch like um like uh like farming equipment or something like. It'll just blow up or something. I I, I don't get what the well, what the okay. uh, difference fair is. Fair point. Fair point. Let's just say you can do everything that my two hundred pound engineer husband can do. Let's just say you can. What are you trying to brag? Why? <laughs> why? No, I'm just saying he's like a big engineer brained man, right? And cool. I'm not. Um, but let's just say you could. Why? Okay. Why in the last hundred years, when women have had the choice to do anything they want? Why have they not chosen these things? Why don't well, they want to build society? Why don't they want to build well, infrastructure? I think society has been built with women involved, or it, we probably wouldn't have lasted. Let's be real here. That's very silly to say it that way. Well, but I what role were they playing? Social, there's a lot of social condition. Like you know, I mean, you know, you're from the '80s. I mean, what toys did you get when you were when you were playing when you were a kid? 
Actually, I was a tomboy. I was like a hardcore tomboy, and I grew up in a neighborhood with all right. boys. Okay, so no, but I you had, didn't answer my question. I like, had Tonka what? trucks. I had He Man. Sure. I had GI Joes. Um, I had. Well, maybe that's tools. why you're interested in deadlifting and stuff like that because it's a, a more yeah. typically masculine yeah, and thing. Yeah, I'm a so. firearms instructor, and I love shooting guns. So, I have a bunch of right. Male so maybe privileges. that is why you have those interests is because you were raised in a more, I guess, masculine. We'll say, um, mm -hmm. social. Uh, situation so yeah the fact that you are into like more masculine stuff because you're raised with more mats like more guys around i'm kind of the same way like i like i'm a big video gamer i'm a sweaty nerd too like i like doing like guy stuff like um i like to go out and uh you know burn wood if we're burning cardboard uh, that's you know like kind of like my like job that i enjoy doing like whatever like it's like um why are you kind of denying the fact that like maybe that you enjoy it because it's something that you were socially kind of used to being right. more in a masculine role mm -hmm. so would that not track with the idea of um well well it would people if tending, I had... wait hold, hold on sorry oh, people tending ahead. towards um one particular uh group of, or value of like physical work for example like what you're saying like which you, you seem like you've also trended towards. Like, would that not seem like that is more of a socially conditioned aspect than um, just something that is inherent? Well, it would, you would have a point there had I grown up to be an engineer or anything like that, but I didn't. I grew up to be a mom and- Well, you chose I'm, to do that though. I right. mean, you, you, you think that you right. couldn't have been an engineer? Exactly. And what I'm saying is all well, women choose predominantly female things. Like I said, oh, if yeah, women you're socially wanted, conditioned too. No, if women, no, I, you just told me I wasn't socially conditioned for that. Well, I was socially conditioned to do more masculine things. And well, I, I think did. being a parent is, is not, you weren't socially, I wasn't trying to say that you weren't socially conditioned to be a parent. I think that that is something that both sides, you know, uh, are socially conditioned to do just in general, but I was saying that you were so, so why wouldn't I have grown up to be like a construction worker? Well, because or... you said that you chose to be a parent instead, so you, you left college. Yeah. Like what were like what were you going to college for? Uh, I actually didn't go, but I had oh, a full okay. ride, I had a full ride art scholarship for fine arts. Nice. I was a painter and drawer and stuff, and I played the oboe and I was really good at that. So I was like a music art nerd. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, I have both sides to me, but Mm -hmm. I once I became a mom, it was like the maternal instinct kicked in, and that was what I cared about most. And that happens to most women. That's mm -hmm. why we tend to leave the workforce more often for maternity leave and things like that. Um, there's bonding that happens with mothers and babies that isn't the same for dads. Dads are super important. They're totally vital, but it's different. When you nurse an infant for two years straight, I mean, that's there's bonding there that you can't describe to somebody who hasn't experienced it. And just, I'm just going back to the point that if women wanted to do these things, they would be doing these things by now. They've had a hundred well, years are. to get into this stuff. They're not though. Have you looked You're at really going to tell me there's no, no woman that works in construction. Okay. There are some women that work in so some they are. <laughs> aspects of construction. No, they, they, <laughs> let, here, let me help you out. Okay. So we've had a hundred years, right? So the top 20 careers held by women in 1920 are almost exactly the same as the top 20 occupations held by women right now. The only thing cool. that changed actually was that in 1920, more of them were doing farm labor. And now they have basically swapped that out for HR work. The rest of the top 20 careers occupied by women are secretary, nurse, cook, teacher, daycare worker, uh, bookkeeper, receptionist, all the stereotype things that women would do a hundred years ago is exactly what they're choosing now. And they can do anything. Like you said, they can choose whatever they want. So why aren't they choosing to lay asphalt in the hot sun? Why aren't they choosing to go up and fix the power lines when they come down? Why aren't they choosing these things? Well, I don't know. Cause you're kind of the way you're describing them seem like they kind of suck. So maybe they're just, well, but you're, a, tough, you're a strong independent woman. How come you're not sure. out there, you know, fixing the power lines? I'm when there's thought a storm? About it. I guess maybe I, I, my job's being a piece of shit where it's making me go into the office now. So maybe I'll consider that. Um, I I'm am pretty sure that if you had to do that kind of work, you would be like, I'll be a stay at home mom. Please, please let me be a stay at home well, mom. I think that there's a lot of arguments that on both ends, a lot of people would be like, like, I mean, that's like the argument that a lot of like, uh, men say, like, why can't I be a stay at home dad? And it's like, 
well, you should be able to. So it kind of seems like you're well, kind of being real toxic to, about it. About most of them that... don't want to. It's not. Look, I know that you're well, yeah, trying to not... deny biology and say we're the same. <laughs> deny the same. biology. And we have proof that we're not the same. Yes, so we are in, not literally the same. You are correct. In Nordic countries, where they've been the most egalitarian for the longest, we're right. talking Viking society. We're talking the, the socialist utopia that all of the leftist Americans love, right? Uh, okay, Iceland, Sweden, true, Norway, okay. Finland. Yes, they love, love, love because it's so egalitarian. Maybe. In those countries, we actually see a wider gap in what women choose to do for a career if they have a career What do you mean all. gap? So the more egalitarian the society is, the more women will choose traditionally feminine things, which women are more people oriented, right? They go into psychology, sociology, Dude, teaching. I fucking hate people. <laughs> well, 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 okay. Um, that's nice. But I'm just saying that women, okay, so maybe you are, are not a people person, but I bet you like to, you know, drink your, your wine. You're not over there drinking beer and whiskey. You know, you like from time you, to you time. have a pink background, you have a pinky purpley background, it's very cute. You got lots of stuffed animals. Clearly, you have a very strong feminine side to you. Well, it's because it reminds right? me. I mean, I like stuffed animals because I got a lot when I was a kid. So I mean that's yeah. I also yeah, have a but bow. I mean, how do you think about I mean, that? You're not, <laughs> you're not over here with Zen Shapiro with like the buzz cut, you know, you're not you you're clearly present as a very feminine person. And maybe you, you have just a call this a buzz side. cut. Rachel, okay. it's not a really well. it's a very beautiful haircut. I love your hair. I'm I wasn't thrown any much hair. better, much better. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, just saying, I'm just saying, like, okay, you and I might have some really masculine traits. You might be a gamer chick who likes to swear and talk shit and all that kind of stuff. I and I'm a girl that. who likes to work out in the gym with my bro friends and like bench press and stuff, right? Cool. But we are still women. And we still want to do women's stuff. I still love glitter. Yeah. I still love babies. We like doggies and kitty cats. And we like... What, men can't love fluffy. doggies and kitty cats? <laughs> but no, we're, we got to get back to the point, which is, has feminism been good for society? And by all the metrics I just stated, I don't think it is. Do you have any of metrics cats? that prove it's good? Like, well, what, I mean, I think the ability, good? like, you know, we didn't get the right to have a credit card until like the 60s, my dude. Like, I Actually, don't see what having an inequality like of like that. Like, if you're really going to say about the workforce being like significantly higher than that alone seems like a benefit to have more workers. I mean, the wages were depressed, not because of feminism. There's a lot more to that where it's an economic issue. But let's stay focused. You're right. We we're getting a little off track there um, where. I I don't see why that is a bad thing to have more people in like because we were specifically talking about this country I guess like 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 having more people like being present having more representation like diversity like is uh very our obviously strength. more <laughs> our strength yes and our um that goes for also corporations as well like I think having like um a lot of different voices within a space is always going to be good to a you know to to that degree if we're gonna like uh look at it like an economic type of thing but I, I don't see why having more freedom would be a bad thing like this is fucking america dude like i love the idea that we have freedom here we have freedom of choice if we want to choose to do those things like you know stay-at-home mom or like like you, you were complaining about the fact that like you wanted to be a stay-at-home mom right and like people were, like shitting on you for that like feminism like is the exact like opposite of like somebody wanting to shit on you for that like that it was your choice that's what feminism is it is your choice to be able to be a mom like to to stay at home with your kids that is a supportive choice where you shouldn't have to be held to some sort of societal standard where you have to work or you or you have to stay home or you have you have to do anything the idea is that it's just the freedom to be able to make your own choices of what you want to do when you're in in your own life and i don't know why you would want to constrain yourself when it comes to being anti-feminist uh, with the idea of like rigid gender roles and and not having the freedom of choice like you clearly did choose you know to to become a mom and i and i feel like it would be really shitty like if, if somebody was like you have to work like you have to work like outside of like the uh financial values i'm so sorry they are just really annoying <laughs> i'm so sorry um but uh with, with like I'm so sorry. I forgot what I was saying exactly. But That's okay. Actually, I, if you don't just... mind, I want to address a couple oh, of, of things course. that you said. So the first one would be, is it a privilege for moms to work or is it like a detriment to them? 
Um, well, I mean, I'm not a mom, so why don't you tell me? Well, you said you think it would be bad if somebody told me I had to work. But when yeah. I t when I tell most people I'm a stay at home mom, they say, well, not all of us are as lucky as you. Not everyone is as well, lucky. Most moms work because do you think most moms work because they have to work financially? Yes. Right. So how did they get more freedom? Where's all the freedom of choice? If the moms have to work because it's an economic necessity, where's all the freedom of choice? Well, that's the irony of it, right? I mean, obviously, the entirety of like human existence, you have to you have to work in one way or the other. I mean, like a lot of people like would even like be like, okay, I can make money by basically being a mom by like babysitting other people's kids. Like that's like an economic issue. That has nothing to do with feminism. Like, I, I mean, I, I feel like I, I'm a little worried because I feel like a lot of your argument is just completely based off of the fact that you think that um, women just kind of ruin the economy basically, which is funny as no, a concept. I, here's, but, here's what my argument is. Okay. All the things feminism promised women, it did not deliver. Not only that, but women well, are. I mean, I read off a bunch of shit that it. it no, promised. you don't. But that's not the case. No. So I can <laughs> I can prove that that's not the case. So do you oh, know that sixty five? Can I talk now? Okay, sixty five percent of college debt is held by women. The average woman goes Equality. into her adult <laughs> life with thirty five thousand dollars in debt on average. What so? What does her choice to choose motherhood look like after that? After we tell all women they have to go to college because they have to have a career or else they ain't shit and they get $35,000 in debt, the average payment is about the same as a car payment. Where is the choice left to them to choose motherhood? Well, I mean, they chose to go to school. It's not like they like you hit that age and you just get the debt. Like, so you, you think social? You think that social conditioning works to make girls feminine and make them like pink and like dresses? What? But you don't think social conditioning works to make women go to college. You don't think girls go to college because they're told from the time they're born that if they don't go to college, well, they're think, basically a loser and they're never going to make it in life? Again, this seems like it's coming from a very personal thing but it's, i think that everyone is told to do that i i don't really see any differential between like a <clears> little <throat> like idea of what i believe feminism is is a complete like utter disappearance of the idea that we're different because i don't see why that's different for like i don't think women are being pressured more to go to college than men are i know right, women typically can, do go to college more often but who who births the babies is that the end of your argument what do you mean the only people who can give birth are biological who, females. Who gives, how does this have anything to do with? So I'm telling you, it. pay attention. If you force, <laughs> if you force all the biological females into uh -huh. a system where they're debt slaves because they went to well, college, they're not forced into it. But okay, you socially condition them that this is what successful women do. This is what boss bitches do. This is what smart girls do. This is what good girls do. They go okay. to college and they earn a degree. Right? Do you think it's good to earn a degree? I mean, if you want to, sure. Do you I, have I, a degree? I do not. You don't have a degree. No. Okay, so you don't I went have to college, college for a few yet. years, but uh, no, I, I uh, was lucky enough to have a uh, generally wealthy family. So, okay, gotcha. So most women go to college, get into debt, and then sure. we expect them to suddenly stop working. Okay, but and how is it different kids? than men? Like, I don't understand. Like, the men are whole supposed is that, like, to support you... the women. This is what I'm trying to explain. The men Why? are supposed to su Because you can't have babies and have a career okay, at the same are... time. What? You... What? There's Didn't plenty of women that... who have babies. You just in said, ah, 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 in your opening, <laughs> you said that, you said women, that motherhood is a full-time job, that parenting is a full-time job. Motherhood's a full-time job, right? Yeah, you can just stay home dad. I mean, as soon as the kid's out of you, like, who gives a shit? Like, who's staying home? It doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so then you're still stuck in a one-parent income trap, right? What? No, that's not at so all what we were saying. dad stays home and the mom works, you're still stuck on one income. And you said people oh, you mean like that? on one income, yeah. I think it's very rare to be able to do that, yes. I, right, I, so I agree with that, but that's the thing to do with... Now. The vast majority okay, of households, so it, both parents have to work now. Correct. Sure. Right. And I just explained why that happened. So okay. if you could um, please tell me just just mm -hmm. one actual, like, not just it's my opinion that it's nice that I think women have more choices. Do you have any concrete anything? I've sat here and rattled off a ton of stats. Do you have any concrete numbers, anything concrete we can look at? Um, doesn't even have to be numbers, but something that well, shows we're women, me. so we can't see concrete, obviously. 
Well, we have to know if feminism has been good for society. That's what the debate is. So well, I'm waiting you for some proof. Oh, like, it is a bad thing. As I, as I said in my beginning, my whole statement of why I listed off those things, like I also listed off things. I can also make a list. Um, the right to vote. Okay. Good, bad? Bad, good? What, what, do you, what are your opinion on? Uh, I don't think that the having the right to vote has made life better for women. What I think by it has. What, you have what, your representation. Why do you think that we why, fucking rebelled against England, dude? Like, what do you mean? What, by what metric? By what metric? Because you have a you... representation that you obviously, like, who do you choose to vote for? Why don't I just ask, like, what are you not getting about this? Okay, the, who do you choose to vote for? Somebody that represents your values, correct? Okay, but what... <laughs> So, so being women, able to vote for people, legislation, people who will legislate for your values is always a positive. Do you, do you believe that the American government represents your values? What? Do you Stay think that our, What do you mean? I'm talking about like the idea of being able to vote. Right. And I'm asking you if that has actually happened. So you vote, yes, right? Yes, I'm from California, so bro. Do you believe <laughs> that the current government that supposed to represent the, you The entirety you? of the government? Yeah. Do you do you feel represented? In your I think government? there's elements and people that have been elected that I voted for in the government that do represent my ideals. Yes. Okay. There's a lot of people in this country. But like obviously we whole, have a lot of. Like, okay. Right? Who you, cares? You, who cares? Why are you saying that? That's well, the, the reason I'm saying that is because you don't like the current system. So if you think the current system is shit, you know, I'm just saying, like, it doesn't seem to be oh, working well, for you. <laughs> So okay. how does you being able to vote make your life better? You can laugh, but that's not an argument. Because I'm fighting for the things that I do give a shit about, and I do have representatives that I, I feel like do represent my values. Like, I, I don't understand why having less of a say in something is a good thing. Like, that's well, not what you're, you're arguing. Like, oh, because of the thing that I'm no, arguing, that's not what the I'm thing arguing. that I'm arguing isn't exactly, like, the way I want it to be, but, like, I, so that means I shouldn't have a say in it. Like, that's exactly what you're saying. Well, I'll tell you what women in 1919 said. There were anti-suffrage. Anti yes, you should care because okay, you're here mom. to advocate for women and feminism. So you should care, yeah. right? I'm always told I should care about well, the brave and independent women. I care about your opinion because you're a woman. So here we are. Well, well here, I live in the current time. And so I have to come on here and really? dispel all the nonsense. Yeah, I have, you have to educate to. You're also forced like to do that you. too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to educate people like you who don't know what the hell you're what? talking about. So in 1919, okay, there gonna... was much, much Let's... higher uh, representation in anti-suffrage groups than suffrage groups. There were more women who were active members of anti-suffrage groups mm -hmm. than there were women who were in suffrage groups. And a okay. group in Kansas put out a pamphlet that's in my book where they said, Mm -hmm. We don't want to do this because they could foresee they may have to be conscripted into the military. They could see I'm that it was going that. to... I, I know you are. And that we yeah. would have to, except you wouldn't, if you actually well, had to go I don't fight the draft thing. Do I don't think the draft should be a thing at all. But, I mean, as long as it is, fuck it. Equality. Both of us need to get drafted. I don't well, see any then, problem with that. Then I think if you want equality, we should make it mandatory that 50% of oil drillers have to be women. 50% of asphalt Why? layers have to... Because equality, if you're going to draft women, well, that's a choice the military, to work there. It's not like you're required by the state. Like, I know you think I'm a communist, but I'm not. I don't, I don't think that okay, those should so be like you state think the run. State <laughs> should like, mandate people die in wars, but you don't think. No, I literally just said the draft I don't think should be mandated at all. Like, I, I don't know if you just like have like your script of things you're supposed to say, but like, I'm literally saying I don't think that the draft should be a thing at all. But even if it is, women should right. have to be part of it too. Fuck it. Yeah, and I'm saying if that. that's what you think, then you mm -hmm. are being inconsistent if you don't I think women very should. Consistent. It's not if you don't agree that women shouldn't have to be equally represented in dangerous and yucky and gross. Fuck it, and sure, hard. whatever. Okay, so if Nina wants to go ahead and put her money care. where her mouth is and go outside and start laying some asphalt and putting up some power lines. All right, and you, you know powder, a guy, if you know a guy, if they're paying enough, I'll fucking do it. I hate my job right now, so I'm down. Yeah, you would you would cry. But, Are you just okay. gonna say that I'm gonna say that even though I'm literally agreeing to do it? Like, what is your point? My point is that you, would you haven't. Cry? Yes, I don't want to go put out power lines okay. in a blizzard. I don't want to lay concrete. 
I'm not made for well, that. That is your choice. That. That's fine. I mean, they're not like, what do you think? There's like a genetic gene for like laying yes. concrete. Do yes, there is. You, Men are, do you think there's no <laughs> biological genetic difference between males and females? Nina? About laying concrete? No, I don't think that. That's very silly for you are to you say. A, are you a gender abolitionist? Yes, I yes, said that. Are. Okay, right. Yes, so, I Yes, so I am. you think, <laughs> I okay, said that the beginning. keep laughing. Again, it's not funny. We're having fun. Uh, well, okay. Uh, no, you would oh. not be outlaying concrete. Your body physically couldn't take it. Have you ever seen what happens to a man who has to dig? Have you seen for 40 concrete years? laid? It's just machines, yes. dude. You're physically like picking up. Like, concrete's a liquid when you, when you uh, like. What? What do you mean? Like it's just a machine that's doing have it. You and you ever just been have to, outside of a city? Thing. Okay, farm labor. How about farm labor? Do you think that that's all automated too? Oh, so now you have to like change it? Like, no, I mean, I'm a lot of it. Socialist, I mean, yes, yes, it is automated. You urban socialist city people think oh, okay. everything's automated, uh -huh. and it's not. Uh, a lot I of even, I was farm work is raised, not automated. Born and raised in farm country, where manual labor still reigns. And yes, cool. if you've ever watched a road being built, if you've ever watched. Yes. Uh, sewer tunnels being put in under a road, it is not all automated. Some of it is, but a lot of it is backbreaking. What do you mean they're labor. literally doing it with their hands? Like, what do you mean? Yes, they're literally with shovels and tools moving the concrete in 90 oh, degree weather. so we're using tools. Yeah. Yeah, we're using tools. Yeah, so... So my husband works in mechanical engineering on giant machinery where he has to be dropped into like a 40 foot hole where there's no oxygen. He has to wear masks. It's super dangerous and scary cool. and shit like that. You're not going to do that. You would cry. Why? I said I would do it. Because you have stuffed animals behind you and people, <laughs> what, because I have stuffed animals? You're, you really think, does anyone in the audience <laughs> believe we're going to drop Nina into a hole and she's gonna fix the problem, right? <laughs> Whatever is going on, no. Well, I'm sure I'm we gonna know what I was put, saying. We could put Nina on a crab fishing boat where she's mm -hmm. got like sub-zero temperatures, raging I do love winds. Boats. And and have you ever watched any of those shows? Oh yeah, the no, and they look guys? like scary, but I love the ocean. So I'm down <laughs> to that too. Okay, well, I'm, sure, I'm sure everybody believes that Nina and, like, is You need to copy-paste into, like, saying, like, whatever about me because you don't, like, I don't know who I am. I'm just like, you're, you're that, like, I'm just it's like a joke. Lying. You think I'm lying that I like water? Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're both talking at the same time, Nina. Go ahead and, and Rachel, please let her finish before you interject. Sure. Well, I just thought it was funny that you were laughing about that, that I like water. <laughs> like, you can go ahead. No, I'm saying there's a reason why you have a desk job and not a hard. Okay, well, my boyfriend job. has a desk job too, so. Yeah, sure. There are men who have frou frou desk jobs now because we live in a technological. And yeah, it's it's soft, soft hands, you know, all that stuff. I'm not even trying to hate on everybody who has tech jobs or whatever, but it I'm saying. It kind of sounds like you are doing that. I'm saying that the people who build the infrastructure that keeps your fucking computer on are men, big, burly, tough men who are willing to break their bodies over the course of years and years keeping the fucking lights on. Do you think that's not a thing? Do I think that there are not people who have jobs that are to make, like, power lines? Is that what your question is? Who do you or that think... there are men, like... Do yeah, they're probably... building overwhelmingly, infrastructure uh... is, like, an easy thing? Or do you think there are still really dangerous hard labor jobs that are occupied almost exclusively by men. Okay, so why don't we fix that then? Fuck it, o only women in infrastructure jobs. And do you think that the power grid would stay up? Yeah, because it's not like they're not doing the same job. It's just maybe they're not as strong. So I don't know. What, so do, you you what, do, you, what do you average... think? What do you think is a difference? Like, what do you, like, what do you think? Like, what? You. Like, you, you're constantly lifting stuff? Like, like you're bench pressing things? Like to yes. make the, the... Yes. Oh, that's, Log, how you, that's how you logging, pour concrete is by logging, bench lifting. mining, being up in a bucket truck, having to lift. Yes, there are jobs. If you had ever, <laughs> if you had ever been outside of your little computer room there, you would know there are jobs where, mm -hmm. yes, the requirements are you have to be able to repeatedly lift 60, 80 pounds over your head all day long. You have to be able to do certain things, right? That women well, I, can't do. The average woman is five foot three, 155 pounds. Those women can't do like those jobs. It, yeah, we're fat these days. You know, that's how it is in America because we all sit at a desk all day. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, well, that's no. What I'm saying all women, all women in these jobs, maybe we'll lose weight, dude. I mean, you were you were a power lifter. I'm how, telling how are you, gonna, how are you gonna say that you can't figure out how much would you lift? 
so my max bench press is 155 pounds for one rep. If you put me out okay. in out in a hard job where for 12 hours a day out in a field, I had to do that repeatedly, I would literally break. My body okay. couldn't do it. It's not okay, physically you think possible. men's bodies don't break yes. too? Do you, are you aware of the difference in bone density, bone structure, okay, muscle? The point is it doesn't hormones. It doesn't you matter. Not it's of the yes, it matters. Body too. It, it absolutely matters. That's not my point. I'm saying that like I don't think it really matters in terms of like getting the work done as much. Why don't we just let's focus more automation and so you don't have to pick okay. up heavy shit? I think because not uh, I know that people who live online terminally don't understand this. I know not you keep everything this as an insult. I don't care. Not okay. everything can be automated. There are tons of things that will never be like what? automated. Like I told you, like you have to drop can a be person. Automated? You like, can't you roboticize a everything. My husband is a robotics engineer. Yes, he I know people are talking about your robots. husband. He has to fix the robots, right? Somebody has to be dropped down into a hole or uh -huh. put way up in the sky or uh -huh. in a dangerous situation that uh -huh. women can't do. And if women wanted to, they'd be in those jobs and they're not. I think I've won this point. So I'm super comfortable okay, just like moving on from it. 